55,000 rubles fine for candy. Two students were fined under the article on discrediting the army for the so-called anti-war action at the monument to Ukrainian poet Lesya Ukrainka in Moscow. The sculpture became an impromptu memorial to the victims of the shelling of the Dnipro on January 14th. Moscow residents brought flowers there to honor the memory of the killed. Sota Telegram channel citing the words of the students' rights that they put a candy at the monument after that the police detained them and took away their phones. And the girl, who earlier went out with a single picket to that monument, was arrested for 12 days, found guilty of disobedience to police officers and fined 50,000 rubles under the article on discrediting the army. A court in the Lipetsk region twice fined a local resident 30,000 rubles under a popular article in Russia about discrediting the army. The reason is a comment in social networks about the illegality of the mobilization. A resident of Chita was also fined for the same 30,000 rubles for discrediting the Russian army. This is the price of a like to the message about the death of the mobilized. Russians with an anti-war position also have to deal with denunciations. They don't make exceptions for anyone. In Moscow, the police took a fifth grader to the department. On social networks, the girl had an avatar with a yellow-blue color combination. Telegram channels report that the school principal wrote the denunciation. Expressing one's opinion in Russia can turn into long years of imprisonment, and of course in those conditions when a significant part of the population is subject to propaganda, in those conditions when internal and external enemies are searched for, the system of denunciation is spread. In fact, the power stirs up all the basest feelings in the population in order to be easier to manage people. And yet, even single anti-war protests matter human rights activists are sure. The main thing is to protect yourself. I can say that no less effective action than direct action is the dissemination of information. You took the material of the Medusa or the Media Zona or any other free media material, printed it out, put it in the mailboxes of your house neighbors, for example, or printed anti-war leaflets or made a repost of something from an anonymous account, so they do not come for you immediately. There are many methods of different, relatively safe protests, which in my opinion are no less effective in terms of conveying information to the recipients. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Angelika Brushnevska, UATV News.